Hi there everyone and welcome back to another one of our videos. Today I'm joined again by my colleague Mindegas. Hello. And behind us you can see the brand new Boeing 737-800 uh, full flight simulator. It has been manufactured by the CAE and inside you can find the 7000XR uh, graphic system. Right now we're going to show you how to perform the outer landing on Boeing 737-NG and so follow us inside. Let's go. Okay guys, now that we are in the cockpit, let's just go straight into the procedure itself. Uh, basically it's uh, the same as any ILS that you would do, except that you need two autopilots instead of one. You also need to have both same uh, courses, in our case of uh, 068, set on both sides. You need to have the same ILS frequencies, in our case it's 110.9 or 5 also on both sides set on active and apart from that it's uh, essentially just like any other ILS approach apart from the fact that you actually do the landing part with the autopilot on. What is also worth mentioning is that we have a fail passive system in our case so we do not have the rollout mode which means that after touchdown we need to disengage the autopilot and maintain the runway centerline uh, by well using manual methods. And for those of you who don't know, the fail passive system basically means that in case of one autopilot failure, the other one disengages and the aircraft needs to be flown manually. So in case of one autopilot failure, we cannot uh, do the auto land in our case. Okay, so now we are on a localizer intercept course for runway 07 right at Frankfurt. Currently we are at 148 knots heading 100 at an altitude of 2,500 feet. And right now I will ask Dushan to set flaps 10, please. Speed check, flaps 10. Meanwhile, I will arm the approach mode and engage the second autopilot. And as we can see on the PFD, we have VOR lock and light slope on the FMA armed. Now we wait for the localizer to be alive, which it is. And on the FMA, VOR localizer goes to active and the aircraft starts turning onto the final approach course. We still maintain altitude and wait for the glide slope to be alive, at which point I will ask Lucian to set uh, the gear down and flaps 15. And I will set the speed brake accordingly. Glide slope is alive? Yep, glide slope alive, gear down. Flaps 15. Gear down, speed check, flaps 15. Meanwhile, I arm the speed brake and Dushin sets the retractable landing lights, the tax light, and the ignition start switches to continuous. Once we actually capture the glide slope, uh, we will set flaps 30 and our VRF plus 5 knots for the uh, actual landing. So, glide slope captured. Glide slope captured. Uh, we set the flaps to 30, please. Speed check, flaps 30. And we set VREF plus 5. And 132 set. 132 set, and 5,000 feet on the MCP for the go around altitude. 5,000 set. At this point, we can do the landing checklist. So landing checklist, start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Is armed. Landing gear. Down three green. Flaps. Flaps 30, green light. Landing checklist completed. Landing checklist completed. So basically the first officer is flying the approach while the captain is looking outside for any visual reference either with the approach light or with the runway itself. The first officer is flying up until the 50 feet when the captain will call out the decision either to go around or land. In case of the landing, he will take over the controls and execute the landing. 
We just passed 1,500 feet, at which point the autopilot just did a self-test and at about approximately 1,300 feet uh, radio altitude on the FMA we will be able to see that the flare mode is armed. Approach lights. Check. And approaching 800 feet radio altitude is our last uh, point at which we can engage the second autopilot, below which we would not be able to engage it and uh, hence do the auto land. So approaching the 500 feet radio, both captain and the first officer have to do the cross check on the radio altimeter and uh, verify that the flare is armed. So, 500 feet on the radio, flares are. 480 feet on the radio, flares are. At approximately 400 feet, the aircraft uh, starts trimming itself up just in case of a go around. And we continue on with the approach. Plus, 100. Check. Check. Minimum. Land. 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed brake is up. Reverse normal. After touchdown, Dushan uh, disengaged the autopilot and maintained uh, the center line manually. And we are slowly so accelerating braking. to 60 knots, at which point we shut the reversers off and just as Dushan said, use manual braking. There you have it guys, uh, this was a very basic introduction of the Boeing 737 NG Autoland system. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, please do keep in mind that it, it was a very basic demonstration of uh, what this aircraft can do and the procedures that we were showing may not be 100% accurate and they might vary depending on different uh, airports, uh, different airlines and etc. We hope that you've enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye and thank you All for right. watching.